Greatest Toy Fans, like Toy Talk Friday, and in case you didn't know, this is a weekly show where I talk about the latest toy news and stuff that's interested me. And before we start this week's show, let's give a quick mention to the review that went up this week. If you click here, you can check out the Tapsaf review from Konzo and Dudebox. My hair's a bit shorter in that video because I filmed it quite a while ago, and I've only just now been allowed to upload it, but well worth a watch. Great price, great piece, so check it out. Also, let's say a massive thanks to our sponsors, dudebox.com, flatties.co.uk, and 2bitrobot.co.uk. If you want to sponsor the show or the website, check out my website below, www.designatorsuk.co.uk. So, greatest toy fans, how is everyone? Uh, massive thanks to everyone that entered the trade backer competition. Huge success on that, so thumbs up to you lot. And I'm actually drinking Starbucks vanilla frappuccino today because I just wanted to drink expensive cold coffee. Yeah, if Starbucks want to send me a box of this to drink, then you're more than welcome. Uh, let's start this show with some blind box news, shall we? First up, the fans of T-Series 2, the custom mini T's from the Flatties guys. They're actually prepping all that to send out the customers now, so check out flatties.co.uk if you've ordered one to keep up to date on that. And also check out their Facebook page. Uh, Lunatic Mini T's Series 2, as you can see them behind me. We now have a case and a couple of singles left for sale on 2-Bit Robot, so check out the link below. And Android Series 3, which is like basically sold out all over the place, we have one case left for pre-order, and then there's going to be singles up for pre-order and for sale as well. There's one case left, £90, and the singles are 650 699 something like that. The Android Series 3 is on its way to me from supplier in America. I should receive them like early next week or tomorrow, so... If you want your Android Series 3 and they've sold out everywhere else, check out 2B Robot. We've still got them in. Great price as always, so yeah, check those out. And also, let's give a quick mention to the new Dunny series because that seems to be leaking like a sieve at the moment. First up, Jesse Hernandez uh, showed this picture off. I think it was on his Twitter. That shows the back of his. It kind of looks like every other Jesse Hernandez Dunny that he's done, sort of, in my opinion, like the colours and stuff. And Hydro 74, I've never heard of the artist, but this is the sneak that he's done of his new Dunny. I do like the idea of them introducing some new artists like Hydro 74. Kind of intrigued and I'm kind of disappointed that the artists are leaking these. I don't know if that's Kid Robot like behind the scenes saying that they need to do this. You know like to drum up attention or if this is just artists being artists and leaking this stuff. I don't know but it seems bizarre that we're getting all these sneaks so very quickly. Uh, as a skeptic I'm almost tempted to say Kid Robot is doing this on purpose to build up hype but we never know looks like it's going to be an interesting series and more info when we get it and hopefully we get a full color chart so we can see all the designs and stuff uh, as always i'll keep you up to date on toy talk friday so stick around for that okay next up let's talk about dude box shall we now yeah i know the sponsor of the show but they're doing a lot of interesting pieces at the moment this is the full reveal of the like dark hidden kind of thing they was doing last week i think i mentioned it in last week's toy talk friday it's Pete Fowler and Tristan Eaton doing this one and I like the sculpt but I'm not a huge fan of the fact that they've not used the whole canvas as it were if you know what I mean. Like it's a cool little sculpt but the characters in the middle of it I don't, I don't know why. still think it's an awesome looking piece but I don't know. Dudebox will probably use this sculpt down the line for other pieces so I guess that's worth watching out for and what do you guys think? Interesting little piece and Dudebox, great little price I bet as well, so check out dudebox.com below for more info on that. Okay, so next up, let's talk about the Brotherhood Industries guys. They do some really awesome pieces in my opinion. They've got the melt knuckles up now for $40 on the website. This pink, neon green, blue, and black. And I think there's another one as well, I can't remember, but check out Brotherhood Industries link below. Uh, Uncle Absinthe is looking to get the mask that they're selling. They're like $25. The only problem is the shipping is a ball ache. If anyone in the UK wants one of these masks, this is what it looks like. I might be getting one myself. I think it was like £16 is what Uncle Absinthe have told me. If you want one, uh, I don't want to link to Uncle Absinthe Facebook page. Go to Designer Toys UK. Facebook link is below. And I'll post a picture of this. And if you want one, comment saying yes, please. And I'll get a list of names. Then I'll pass that to Uncle Absinthe. Or go on the Brotherhood Industries Facebook page. And I believe they've got the same thing up as well. So... Go to those links if you want one of these masks. And £16 is a hell of a lot cheaper than you'd pay if you was buying it on your own. So let's all work together in this awesome toy scene and we'll get a bargain. And at some point you'll probably see me wearing one in a video. Which is probably going to be interesting or a little bit weird. Yeah, check out them below. Uh, and yeah, awesome. 
Again, a very quick mention because I hate pimping the store out on this show. Uh, the limited edition Taylor Curiosity's 2 bit robot uh, embryo plushers are now available from 2 bit robot. They are £9 each, limited to five pieces, so super rare. If you want one, check out the link below. And I believe at the time of doing this, the postage thing was all skew with and it was doing it for free postage. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to fix that, so get one quick and you'll get free postage. Also, check out Taylor Curiosity's website below. She's put a few new interesting pieces up and a few new plushes, so definitely worth looking at those. And yeah, I think she's got some Halloween things coming up as well, so stay tuned to her Facebook page for them. Okay, so next up with the Halloween season looming, or is it already here? I'm not entirely sure. I hate the thing anyway. Uh, Kid Reaper from Kid Robot, the little French mascot, now available, 1,000 pieces, $15 or 10 British pounds, I believe. If you can't get one from Kid Robot London because you can't make it, go to their Facebook page, speak to them, and I know you can pay via PayPal, and they'll send it. So if you like the look of this, but you can't get it to a Kid Robot, don't fret, you can get it via the Facebook page. Uh, I really like this. I also like the, um, just scroll down a bit, the Tristan Eaton limited edition ones, the anniversary box. I am going to try and get the black one or the one with the sash if I can because I really do like the look of them and I guess it's just nice to have a piece that celebrates Kid Robot's 10th anniversary and stuff. Okay, next up, I know I rip on calls a lot but let's give a quick mention to the Astro Boy, shall we? $231, it's probably going to sell out in one-fifth of a nanosecond. I like this piece a hell of a lot but it's just going to sell out so fast and this is what annoys me with calls. You add a few X's on something and the hype kills it because it just goes and sells and gets flipped and all this rubbish the companion resting piece was probably his best piece some of his releases i've seen artists do shit out of the bedroom they looked a million times better than what he does this is one of his better pieces i mean great price 231 dollars is it yeah great price is about on par with a course piece and then you add into the fact that it's going to sell out super fast and get flipped ridiculously really bad shame but hey i like it what do you guys think are you a course fan are any of you lucky gits going to get this? And if so, why? Okay, next up, let's announce the winners of the Che Backer competition. Uh, I'm filming this a different way to the TTS, so I have no idea if you can even see me. Uh, hello? Anyway, yeah, I have a list of names uh, somewhere here. Where are they? Here they are. Look, list of names of everyone who entered. I could be just rambling to myself right now. I have no idea. So, we'll take all the names of everyone that entered. We'll put them into this. Is this how we do it? I have no idea. Anyway, good luck to everyone that entered and also thanks for entering. It means a lot. And here we go. Okay, and the winners are Pocket Wookie, Dan Berg Aran, Kelly Parkin, and Drew Brisby. You guys have won. Sorry, I just went off camera to actually get the things. You guys have won some Che Backers. Uh, we have a couple of colours. We have... You know, I'm totally unprepared sometimes. We have... I think it was two... So we have... A blue one. A... That's empty... A blue one, a purple one, a, another purple one, and a yellow. So, two purples, a blue and a yellow. Get your names in quick if you want one of the particular colours. Uh, Comment on, drop me a message actually on uh, Design Toys UK, the Facebook page, or send me an email via the website www.designtoysuk.co.uk. Let me know if you want a specific colour. If you don't, just say, hey Kenton, random, and your name and address. That's all you need to do, and I'll get these sent out as soon as possible. Four people, congratulations to Pocket Wookie, Dan, Kelly, and Drew. Massive thanks to everyone else who entered. In fact, let's say... Let's take everyone's names but the ones that won. So, let's do that. Let's get rid of this. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay. Randomise. And, it's broke. What the hell? 
Uh, Amy Glasgow, there you go. Sorry, I couldn't see it on my screen. Amy Glasgow, congratulations, you've won. Uh, I've no idea where I've put it. Here it is. You have won a signed Vice One Floxy. Here he is. Pink and signed by Vice One. So, Amy Glasgow, also drop me a message or an email and you've won this. Drop me a name and address. I'll get that in the post as soon as possible. Congratulations to everyone who also entered. Stay tuned to the Facebook page and the um, Toy Talk Fridays because I'm going to be doing a lot more competitions and of course it's going to be a lot more random than this. So thanks to everyone who else who entered and go back to Kenton who's going to end the t uh, Toy Talk Friday. Bye. Now how do I end this? And that's Toy Talk Friday for the 12th of October. Thanks so much for watching guys. You can check out all the links for everything I mentioned in this week's show below as well as the links to our sponsors dudebox.com, flatties.co.uk and 2bitrobot.co.uk. You can check me out on Facebook and Twitter, Designatoys UK, as well as my website, www.designatoysuk.co.uk. Feel free to subscribe, rate, share, like and favour the video, support me, support the show. And as always, I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.